today we're going to be investigating how and why boats float, as well as learning about loading a boat and how boats move through water. You will understand and hopefully be able to explain gravity, upthrust, water resistance and streamlining. Before we get started, you will need a container filled with water. You'll also need plasticine, or you could try Play-Doh, a selection of small toys and one straw for each person taking part. It might be useful to have a towel to mop up spills as well. Firstly, take your plasticine and roll it into a ball like this one. Like all good scientists, we'll begin with a prediction. This is also sometimes called a hypothesis. A prediction is when we say what we think will happen. Can you predict what will happen when we place the ball into the water? Will it float or will it sink? You can pause the video while you talk about it. Decided? OK, let's see what happens. Well done if you predicted that it would sink. Do you think we could make the ball float? To have a good understanding of making it float, we need to understand why it sank. Take your hand and close your fingers together like this. Now place your hand on the surface of the water and gently push down. Can you feel a force pushing up against your hand? This force is called upthrust and it's the force that helps things to float. If upthrust is pushing up, do you know which force is pulling down? It's the same force that keeps us on the earth. If you said gravity, well done. So what can we do to the ball to increase the upthrust pushing it up in the water? At the moment, upthrust is only pushing against this tiny area. If we increase the area that upthrust can push against, we can increase the chances of our plasticine floating. Make a big flat shape like this. Time for another prediction. Will it float or sink? When you place your flat shape on the surface of the water, watch it very closely and notice everything that happens. If you predicted that it would sink, well done. Did it sink more slowly, more quickly or at the same rate as the ball? It sank more slowly. So you did manage to increase the upthrust. Did you notice why it sank? If you are being observant, you will have noticed that it floated for a second, maybe less, and then the water came over the top and pushed it down. What could we do to our flat shape to prevent this from happening? Try adding some sides to your shape and see if it floats. Hopefully, you've now got a floating boat. When your plasticine was a ball, the force of the upthrust pushing up was weaker than the force of gravity pulling down. By flattening the shape and adding the sides, you have increased the upthrust. Upthrust and gravity are now balanced and so the boat floats. Well done! Now that you have a boat, we're going to test how good it is at carrying cargo. Your cargo will be the selection of small toys you gathered together earlier. Place your boat in the water and one by one place the toys into the boat, counting them as you go. Remember to balance the boat to stop it from capsizing. At some point your boat will sink. When it does, Notice why it sank. Make an improvement to your boat and then try to beat your previous score. Keep making improvements. 
and test the maximum number of toys that your boat will carry. If there is more than one of you, why not make it a competition? You can pause the video while you complete the activity. Our final activity looks at how we can redesign our boat to help it to move through the water. Close all your fingers together and place your hand in the water at one end of the container. Move the flat side of your hand from one side to another under the water. You will notice, just like you did earlier, a force pushing against your hand. This force is called water resistance. Try moving your hand this way through the water. Can you feel more or less resistance? Here's a clue to improving your design. You made your boat wider and flatter to increase upthrust, but now you need to do something different to make it move through the water more easily. Pause this video while you redesign your boat. You've probably worked out that you need a smaller area at the front of your boat so that water resistance has less effect as the boat moves through the water. This creates a streamlined shape. Streamlining simply means a way of increasing speed and ease of movement. You can now test the effectiveness of your design using your straw. Blow it across the water. If it travels smoothly and in a straight line, well done, you have designed a streamlined boat. If there's more than one of you, compare your designs, noticing which one is more successful and why. Pause this video while you test your boats. We have learned today that boats float with the help of a force called upthrust. When upthrust is equal to gravity, an object will float. We have tested, adapted and retested our boat designs to enable our boats to carry more cargo and to be streamlined. We have learned that for an object to be streamlined, we need to decrease the area that water resistance can push against. For your final challenge, see if you can map the correct words with their definitions.